Hey everybody, it's Miss A and I'm here with an office video. I had promised the kids I'd do this a long time ago. So um, what we do is you go into Google Chrome or go into your internet provider and you are going to go into office.com. Now I believe you can also access this from You can also access it from your Clever Student Connections. So I'm going into Office as soon as it pulls up. All right, I'm going to sign in. Now, obviously, if it's at your home, you'll have already signed it in. I'm going to put my information here. your login information. So the first thing I want to show you is how to upload um, a photo so that we can figure out who you are. I have a couple students that have same names. There's, uh, and these are all the students in Hillsborough County, so there's definitely lots of different students. We actually have a couple with the same name here at the school, so it makes it hard when I'm trying to input it. So you go to the corner where it has your initials and you click on that. And it's gonna say my profile, my account, and sign out. Let me see if I can bring this down any further so it's a little bit closer. All right, so I'm gonna go to my profile. Maybe, Let's see what I hit. All right, so here I am in my profile and I could change my cover letter, my cover photo, which is here. Um, they have different types that you can pick. Those are there. Um, this is where you add your profile picture. So you just click on the camera there. And if there is a camera option on whatever you're doing, you're taking this on, you can do that. It says upload photo. Um, so this is where it's saved on here. And I would just upload the photo and I would save all and close after I do that. Okay, yes, I know I didn't make any, cancel and go back because I didn't make any changes to mine. Mine always has the picture of the sunflower so that they can remember that. All right, so now I want to go into my OneDrive. And in my OneDrive are all of my available documents, everything that I have that I've used. Now, when you're looking for documents that I've shared with you, you're going to hit that shared and it'll always come up what's shared with me. So this is what I've shared with um, you as a student. If you want to see things that you shared, you would click on shared by me. So you want to be in shared with me and in shared with me, you will actually see um, some our social studies objects. Ah, come on, Mr. Not working with me today. You will actually see the social studies that I shared with you. Um, it's called Famous Floridians. And I shared, I'll just go into my folder here and pull it up so you can see what be in there. I'm going to go into my files. Famous Floridians. There we go. Famous Floridians. So I'm going to open up my Famous Floridians. Now mine's all in a folder. I shared individual pieces with you because I didn't share everything with you. But I did share because this is a completely electronic project. I did share um, the lesson plan rubric. So the project is a lesson plan. Let me go ahead and pull up the rubric and I'll quickly go over that. Um, so we'll call this our kind of like our social studies and... Um, video for office. So the rubric is in there. Everybody has access to it. I am going to give you a copy as well because you know it has to be signed by your parents. So the rubric goes over. It is a three, two, one, zero scale. Um, you will be creating a lesson plan and I do have an example and the PowerPoint that goes along with it. So you'll have access to all of that as well. And I printed out copies for you to keep in your folder so that you'd have 
a paper copy as well while you're looking. So this is content for learning. In here are the things that you need to make sure that the students learn from you when you're teaching your lesson. So they need to learn the uh, famous Floridians' date of birth, their date of death, their family information, where did they reside in Florida, and how did they help Florida's economy. So you get three points if in your lesson you include all those items. You get two points if you're missing one of those. You get one point if you're missing two to three of those. And if you're missing more than three, you get zero points. The next one is your, um, your common core standard. So I have included the four standards that we would use for this particular lesson. You need to choose the two that you'll be instructing on. So I have them listed here. As long as you have them listed, you get three points. If you only have one, you get one point. There's no two points, and if you have none, you obviously get no points. And it's on the lesson plan, so you shouldn't forget it. Learning target, that is our we will or we can statement. So I have an example in here. This lesson has a clear learning target that matches the standard. Mine says we will explore the lives of historical figures that have contributed to the construction and the economy of Florida. The requirements are a we will statement, a verb, and a topic of learning. Um, if you have it right, you get three. There's a chance to get two where it may not be exactly aligned, but you're on the right path. And then there's zero if, it does, if it's not. The second sheet or the backside is the assessment. There needs to be some type of assessment. Um, those are like exit tickets, a rubric, um, a little checklist, whatever it is that you feel you want to do for your exit ticket um, or for your assessment. And then there's different categories for assessment. Procedures, this is how you're going to, um, basically how you're going to instruct the lesson. So I said um, slide should include um, a slide with the standards. You should include a slide with your learning target. You should include a, a slide with your reading information, your assessment information. And I, again, will show you a PowerPoint with that. And then there is a timeline requirement for this, which is another part of our standards. You have to have some type of activity with a timeline. It can be whole group. It can be individual. It can be a uh, small group. So you have that. And then there, that that's separate, so that's worth 100, and then the lesson delivery is worth 100 points itself. So that is your rubric that you will get tomorrow. X, okay, never mind. Nothing's working. Okay, let me click on this up here. There we go. All right, um, you will have a lesson plan uh, from me, which will show you how I filled out the lesson plan, and it was shared with you. Now you need to make sure when you download your copy of the lesson plan, you don't change the whole lesson plan. It is shared with you and it's open for you to modify it. So what you would do is you would go in. I can't get anything to open now. Oh. All right. I can't seem to get anything to open. Let me get out of here and go back in. Find famous Florida. All right. There we go. It's opening here. So I did, let's take a minute for it to come up. I did include a lesson plan that I filled out for my famous Floridian. I had Julia Tuttle. Um, so my name, my figure, social studies, my name of the lesson. She's the mother of Miami. It's fourth grade. It's a 45-minute lesson. So anywhere between 15 and 45 minutes, um, I have the three standards that I'm using. My learning target, we will explore the life of Julia Tuttle and determine how she contributed and constructed the, the economy, the, contributed to the construction and economy of Florida. Here is my content information that I'm going to make sure that my students learn when I instruct it, my procedures, my timeline, and my assessment piece. So this is a completed um, rubric, or excuse me, completed lesson plan so that you can see it with your team.
right? And then this is the blank lesson plan. So what you need to do when you are using this, you have to download a copy first. So I'm gonna go into file, let me let it stop thinking there. Going to go into file. I'm going to go into save as. I want to save as, and now I'm going to change this to my last name, comma, first name, and then I'll put FFLP. So it's, I know that it's mine and it's my famous Floridian's lesson plan. And I hit enter. And now that will be in my stuff. So I'm not modifying the one that I shared with you. I'm saving my own copy. And you see now it's my own copy and I can do whatever I want on it. Let me get out of here. What a pain in the butt this thing is being today. Okay, and now the last thing, and you can see it's in here in this folder that I had it in. Now I'm going to show you the PowerPoint, which I am, I did also share with you. You can't modify it, but you can look at it. I shared it with you. I did also print up a copy for you. So this is my lesson plan. Now my lesson plan is slightly different, or this is my PowerPoint, in that I have to instruct on the rubric and the other pieces. That's why mine will take a little bit longer than the uh, the student lesson that they're going to give on their famous Floridian. So here is my famous Floridian lesson plan presentation. You see I have an animated GIF, I've got some images. So here we're gonna talk about the rubric and it gives directions. Write your name on the rubric front and back, so there's two places. Write your historical figures name on your rubric. We're, uh, homework is to get your rubric signed by your parent. And so we're going to go over the rubric. Um, as a class, we'll go over the different pieces of the rubric. And again, all of this is available on your office, so you have access to it all there. We're gonna go over all these pieces, and then we're gonna go over the lesson plan, how it's set up, and um, since I put on office how to save this, we won't do that in class because that will take a little bit longer. Um, I am also going to show them a completed lesson plan, so I will show them up close my completed lesson plan, plus I did give them a copy, I've given you a copy as well. And then this is the part where the students will start, or this is where you'll start. So this is where my instructional um, PowerPoint starts. So Julia Tuttle, the mother of Miami, and that's my standards. And we will be learning all three standards within this lesson. Um, here's our learning target. It has a timer to give them time to write the learning target. And it's pointing to where she was within the state. Um, there are some articles. Now, um, the students will use their textbook and they can find other information or other articles, but they'd have to get those approved with me and I'll show them how to put those into the PowerPoint. So this article is two pages and then I had one more article which um, I couldn't find her date of death or her family in the first article, but it was really good about where she lived and how she did that. Um, we've got group work, which goes over the content. So this is how I'll make sure the kids have learned the content, how I'll make sure you've learned it, the five minutes to work on that. Um, we'll talk about what is a timeline. Uh, definition of a timeline is a list of events in order when they happen. And I give an example of my life with timeline. And then I am doing a rubric of the timeline as my assessment piece. So there's a setup of a rubric and um, the events. The setup is the timeline events and dates are written on separate index cards. The cards are attached to the timeline cord. And the timeline has five events that are pertinent to the historical figures contributions to uh, Florida's history. So I probably wouldn't necessarily put her birth on there because that's not exactly, I mean, it can be related if she isn't born, she wouldn't be able to do it. But there's probably a lot of other events within her life that are more pertinent to that. Um, and then the timeline assignment talks about all of the pieces and the directions and it has a timer to keep track. So that is um, their video for our social studies project. Thanks for watching everybody.